What is the deal, beautiful people? It is your boy, Uncle Reza, the Xbox fanboy of the channel. Give a shit. That Amicus PSM went down. <laughs> but anyway, we over here talking about Twitch. Man, Twitch is such a whore in the industry. Like, who owns this thing? I don't get it, man. I, I don't. I, I feel so dirty when I talk about Twitch. Like, ooh, it's passed around so many times. Who owns Twitch? Really, though? So, we spoke about this a few weeks back, and I thought it was a done deal. I thought YouTube wrapped up Twitch, and they, you know, they kept on pushing. It made sense. It was a perfect blend. YouTube had the YouTubes going. The number one dude on YouTube by far is a gamer, and you know, this was this was supposed to be YouTube's attempt to take care of the gamers, baby, and stop treating us like like we out here trying to steal your music. Come on, son. But it turns out that Amazon was not having that. I don't know. Was Amazon not having that, or was Twitch not having that? Whatever the case is, Google kind of backed off, or was forced off, or was underbidded. Whatever. Here comes Amazon with a cool billion. And this seems to be the going price for anything these days. A billion dollars. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I got aspirations to own Faris and shit. And I feel like I'm worth a billion. So anybody out there wants to acquire the rights to Uncle Rizza and the ignorant gamers empire, we will sell out for a billion dollars. You can have it all. But anyway, so in comes Amazon swooping down, grabbing Twitch. And I don't know how to feel about this. This is, a, this is interesting. Let me take a sip here. Hang on. <sighs> I'm drinking some wine tonight, fellas. I feel emotional. I'll call my lady and have a conversation after I record this video. But anyway, thumbs up the video just for that gamers out there with winning so back to Amazon I didn't know how to feel about this I thought YouTube was a really good fit uh, shout out to the gamers without winning you guys get a, a lot more done on the, on the achievements list <laughs> my bad my bad my bad I thought I thought Google was a good fit but there's some questions I have around this Amazon thing man who really pulled out and that's the, the least of the, the things I want answered because I kind of feel like it doesn't matter who pulled out. You know what I mean? The, the, the fact is they did pull out. And when I look a little closer, I don't know. Amazon is starting to look like the perfect fit. So let me tell you why, why I feel this way. First of all, Amazon has been hard at work at trying to get into gaming. They they just recently they just recently uh, broke into music with that subscription service with two songs that no one uses and you know they got that Amazon Prime going on with the the TV shows and the movies there's some stuff on there so they, I really get the feeling like they they just want to be that one stop shop for all media and they've been really fighting places like Walmart and these brick and mortar stores for a while and. And they, they're coming along nicely. They got a lot of work to do. They got to spend a lot more money to get a lot of the exclusives and whatnot. But long story short, Amazon has been trying to get into gaming for some time. Their streaming box comes with a controller that you can speak into with Google Now. Their Fire tablets, they like to angle those as some gaming shit. I don't know for what reason. They even went out and bought Double Helix. Those are the dudes that were responsible for making or, or remaking Killer Instinct on the Xbox. I'm still waiting to see how that affects Microsoft. So it, I, I feel like it's okay that a company that's been steadily increasing their, their budget, uh, their interest in gaming, it's okay that they acquire something like Twitch. And what's interesting is now I feel like Amazon could treat Twitch a lot better than YouTube ever could have. 
because no matter what Amazon uh, Twitch always came second to YouTube right and it was such a weird thing like how are they gonna how are they really gonna do this okay so if Google had Twitch how are they are they gonna keep the Twitch brand are they gonna integrate the, the, the services in the core of this product into YouTube a lot of question marks there but I feel like Amazon is is less malicious with their their intentions, their agenda with Twitch. So I feel like they're they're more likely to keep the culture and the tradition. I wouldn't be surprised if they went ahead and reversed that blocking the music shit that happened when YouTube was supposed to acquire them. And I think that'd be a good move for Amazon. Let's see what happens there. Maybe it's just what we're thinking. For the sake of the community, I hope they I hope they do that. But we'll see. Uh, secondly, I think the biggest point of why why Amazon is just a better fit for Twitch is simply because Amazon's got money, baby. Uh, I don't. Not that Google doesn't have money, and they don't have money to throw around. I feel like this would have been like a side project, and they wouldn't take it seriously. Whereas Amazon would would really start piping money into the project, and then you you take a lot of the technical aspects into consideration, like the the S3 hosted uh, hosted server infrastructure that Amazon has up and running. You know they they've got a nice infrastructure in place to allow Twitch to grow, which has been a problem for Twitch, right? It's so much potential, but it's it's all about the growth. They've been stunted by the growth for so many different reasons. I, I think Amazon can can help with that. But I, it's still such a weird thing, right? Like Amazon beat out Google for Twitch. When did Twitch become such a hot commodity? When did Google allow themselves to lose? When did Amazon give a shit about gaming? I like this, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I like this. This is different. This is different, man. I, I like to see things acquire value over time. Yeah, I, it's good for the gaming community. It's good for the Twitch community. It's just good for everybody, man. Leave your comments below. Let me know how you feel about this acquisition. A billion in the bank. Twitch now belongs to Amazon. Do something, baby. Give me some perks that I get with my Prime account and I'll start streaming. <laughs> It's your boy Uncle Rizza. I'm out of here.